Hello there, here's a very, very short video showing how to use the function generator. What do you mean by function? Well, here's a mathematical function, something like y equals 2x, and then y equals minus 2x, something like that, straight line. We can have a different function. Let's press a different button on here. You've got a choice. How about square wave? Yeah, square wave. Doesn't look like a square, but still. <laughs> you got it. Y is, say, 2, Y is minus 2, Y is 2, Y is minus 2, something like that. And we can do another function. Here we go. How about a sinusoidal function? We press the sinusoidal button, and we get that different shape. This is useful because we sometimes want to inject this kind of signal into test equipment or things that we're testing, whatever it is, so that we can just see how it can perform with these different signals. We can make the signal faster or slower. How do you do that? We adjust the frequency knob. Faster. Slower. So nowadays, function generators are pretty good. You can get a nice digital readout. So 902 cycles per second, or we call it hertz. There's a small H said there. And if you want to go much, much higher, we change gear, just like on a bicycle or a car. So we just simply press the next gear. So now it's 10 times faster and 10 times faster, and so on. And then similarly, you can go a lot slower. So the result you can see on our oscilloscope, 10 times faster, 10 times faster, and so you can't see anymore. So that's nice. We can set the frequency. That's very important. Let's go to something we can see here. Now, how about we want to change the size? Changing size, the word is amplitude. So we want to make it smaller or bigger. Okay, so let's uh, see what knob we do there. Let's see amplitude knob down here. So it's anti-clockwise for smaller, clockwise for bigger. Very nice. Other things you can do. Well, let's see if we can lift the waveform up a little bit because what's happening is we can put an offset on here. Let's see. Now, this is at the moment in the middle of the screen. And it's showing voltage going positive, negative, positive, negative, with respect to ground, which is just in the middle of the screen. So back to DC coupling. We get our signal coming in, goes above ground, below ground, above ground, below ground, and so on. Let's stretch it out a little bit. Now, let's pull out the offset button, click, and see what happens. We can now lift it up. We could drop it down. So we're adding a direct current offset to our signal. We sometimes need this. Sometimes you don't want a signal to go less than ground. And if you adjust amplitude, that can make the signal smaller and so on. Let's just trigger our scope a little bit better. There you go, just nice. So what happens now? We can change our offset if you want. So it just goes just above ground and a little bit more. Or if you want, you go below ground. Or don't have any offset at all. Another interesting button is the duty button. So when you pull this out, let's see what happens. Well, on the sinusoidal wave, it looks quite strange. We click the button out and go, whoa, we can just really make it lean one way or the other. Don't often use this with sine wave, but it's quite interesting. But if we change our function to, say, square wave, so press the square wave button, now, actually, we don't have square wave, we call it a rectangular wave. So narrow pulses, wide pulses, your choice, just by moving the duty button there. And finally, if you want to have the triangle wave, just like that, we have triangle wave, or if we make it lopsided, it becomes what we call a sawtooth waveform. There you are. These are all things that you can do with the function generator. One last thing to show you. There is an attenuator button here. Sometimes we want to have very small signals. So when we press the attenuator button, boom, the signal goes 10 times smaller. It hasn't turned off. It's actually click, 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 10 times smaller. If you do three clicks on the oscilloscope, it's a factor of 10, 2 to 0.2. And tell you what, we can do 10 times smaller still. If you pull out the amplitude button, like that, and three clicks again, click, 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 same size. So now it's 100 times smaller than it was before. 10 times smaller because of one, 10 times smaller because of the other. 
There you are. Well, hopefully your confidence is not smaller, it's now bigger. Enjoy.